So here we are with Jeff Hartwig, and he has a whole bunch of pythons, but a lot of you probably don't see Jeff. The only show Jeff does is Tinley because he has a real job beyond the reptiles. So Jeff, give us a little background about yourself and how you got into reptiles. Yeah, well actually I got into reptiles partly uh, from being in Chicago when I was a little kid. Went to a Natural History Museum, saw the dinosaurs, fell in love with them, and the uh, closest thing to that, you know, modern day is reptiles. And, and I think everybody has a natural curiosity about reptiles, and I, it, it's just that they also have a fear, and I never had the fear. So, like a lot of people in this business, you know, or this hobby these days, uh, I started out with, uh, my first snake was a 10-foot Burmese python, and then I bred it one year and traded the babies off and started to get some of the stuff, and, and nowadays, you know, compared to when I got into it in the late 80s, the industry has changed so much because of the morphs and because of the availability of different types of animals that weren't available back in those days, and of course the internet's really helped a lot too, so uh, it's pretty exciting, I think, to see the progress that the hobby has made and uh, look forward to see what happens in the future. Now, what are you sticking with species-wise? You're a python guy, of course, but what, yeah. are, you, what are you specifically sticking with? Yeah, I'm strictly pythons and boas, probably more pythons than boas. Uh, I've been a little bit more successful with them. Uh, you know, kind of my specialties are uh, olive pythons, and some of the Australian stuff that I've bred, um, omas, and uh, and then blood pythons. I'm a big blood python fan. Um, have a really nice line of black bloods, and starting to branch out into some of the other different types of bloods. And, and I've bred them all, but uh, kind of tried different things. And of course, nowadays I'm doing a lot of ball pythons as well. Well, everybody's doing the balls. Now, I did mention your day job. I don't know how many people know you because they don't really see you at many shows. Uh, Jeff, what did you used to do for a living? <laughs> well, I was actually a professional pole vaulter. Um, went to the Olympics twice, and so that's kind of a real kind of claim to fame, just like Chad Brown from Pro Exotics, you know, who played in the NFL. Uh, to be able to make a living as a professional athlete is something that it, it really is a unique lifestyle. And unfortunately, I don't, I'm not real active on a lot of forums, even though I'm on daily, you know, reading and seeing what everybody else has to say. Um, I don't post a lot because there's times where I go, you know, weeks or months at a time where I can't post, and and uh, you know I don't want to be one of those guys that's in in and out, in and out. So I really enjoy the people that, that stay active on those forums because uh, it makes for great reading for a lot of people who who just want to read and don't really post a lot. And one of the best things that would have happened this weekend and did not is Jeff's here. He's an Olympic pole vaulter, which means he can run really fast. Chad Brown is over there. And if someone would have robbed this year and run down this aisle, there was no way they were going to get away. Yeah, we were talking about that. Any, that would have been a fantasy. Anybody tried to grab an animal off any of our tables, we could <laughs> probably run them down pretty easy. So Jeff, as you can see, is one of our stereotypical herpers. Yeah. Um, and he is a blood python person. That's how I got to know him the best. But thanks for your time, and everyone keep posting to keep Jeff entertained. That's right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make you take a picture of this now. I don't have a picture of it.